for assembly. <laughs> one up north. Um, yeah, give it up to Germany. He's trying to help this country out, trying to make things better. Uh, I know that him and his wife had been discussing leaving the state, but instead of leaving, they decided, decided to stay and fight. So if anything, it can be respectable. This man and his wife have decided to stick it out, not give up on our state, and fight for this great country and the state. So let's give it up for Joseph Turner, please. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. So everybody, my name is Joe Turner. I live up in the far north, the far northeast. That's uh, Assembly District 1 and encompasses seven entire counties and two slices of two other counties. So it's Lassen County, Modoc County, Plumas County, Sierra County, Nevada County, Siskiyou County, Shasta County, a portion of Butte and a portion of Placer County. And the main reason why I decided to run is something like Assembly Bill 329. And for anybody who's not familiar with that, that's the transgender indoctrination of little children. And I say this over and over every time I speak, I bring up suicide induction. And for anybody who doesn't know what suicide induction is, the suicide induction is early childhood suicide prevention education. It's a concept that is foreign to little children, and when you Sorry introduce that, it, folks. they start killing themselves because they don't understand it. They have not developed the mental faculties to comprehend the seriousness or the danger of it. And that's the exact same thing that's going to be happening with the, with the multiple gender identities. As far as people who are grown up making grown up decisions, if that if that's the choice that they have that makes them happy, God bless them. But leave it out of little kids who do not have a concept of what they want to be for Halloween, let alone what they want for Christmas or what they want to be when they grow up. They cannot make that decision. They're incapable of it, and it is child abuse to push them into that. And so that's one of the biggest things. We have a little girl. She's turning seven this next month. And my wife did say that she wanted to leave, and I told her, this is coming up, this seat's going to be available, let me try. And a little bit about me, I'm a disabled combat veteran. I spent 17 years enlisted in the California Army National Guard. 14 thank of it you. were on, thank you. 14 of it were on active duty. I, I've gotten to go around the world a little bit. I got to spend a year in Egypt, a few weeks in Ukraine, nine months in Afghanistan. Uh, my injuries have caught up with me. I. Do you know for a fact that I have one vaccine reaction that's gone on for about 15 years when I got my smallpox vaccine when I deployed to Egypt? So it hasn't been that bad, but it's I know it exists. I've also had the anthrax vaccines, and I've also had a lot of issues after the I didn't know the they fact, had an anthrax I, fancy of course, the vaccine. VA says, here's an arthritis writing. Just go on your way. So what I really want to do, I want to take a very, very aggressive approach, and I want elected representatives and governing bodies around the state to take the same approach and join onto it. And it can actually happen in other states too. So the basic idea is what you need is you need to piggyback onto lawsuits that are going on. We have organizations all over, Gun Owners of America, NRA, SERPA, Howard Jarvis Association, all those organizations are constantly suing the state or suing the federal government. The problem is, is they get stalled in court in part because they're not getting bolstered. And when I say they need to be bolstered, they need governing bodies and elected representatives to find ways to get on as plaintiffs. Because who's the, who are the courts gonna listen to more? Are they gonna listen to just a, a schlub like me, Joe Turner? If I sue, if I say I have this harm, this is my standing, they'll say, yeah, but whatever, you're nobody. If I sign on as, a, if I'm assembling Joe Turner, then the courts will be like, oh, hey, look, you're somebody. So. And that doesn't make me special, it just means that that position is, is treated in a special particular manner from the courts. That can be repeated throughout the union. And I want to see the union get involved and put California in its place. This place is an oligarchy. We have 120 representatives for 40 million people. You can't have that type of representation. It's not representation. It's an oligarchy. It is tyrannical. They don't care, we're irrelevant to them. They're bought and paid for, their little special interests, everything. The union has to put California back in its place. Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution guarantees every state in the union a Republican form of government. 120 legislators is not a Republican form of government, it's an oligarchy. This government needs to be broken by the union and fixed by the union. 
along with every other state government that's following similar paths. And that's what I want to try to do. I want to try to put out a call to arms throughout the union to get everybody involved in these types of things. I want California to be the premier battleground of the state, premier battleground in the union. And what that means is you think about it like Iraq and Afghanistan. We spent a lot of money to keep the wars over there. Well, 49 states need to spend a lot of money to keep the war here in California, to keep up the Marxist proletariat revolu uh, revolution from spreading throughout the union. That's what everybody needs to do. That's what I want to try to be a part of. And I really want to try to see the republic be fixed because it's impossible. You're never going to get these people to agree. They're never going to concede power willingly. It doesn't matter how nice we are. It doesn't matter how coordinated we are. You can only take it back by force via violence, which is not what I'm advocating for, or the force of the courts. And what the courts is, they're not going to fix it completely, but they're going to start a process. And they're going to force them into a situation where they have to make some form of a remedy. And that's where we need to start, and that's where we need to put our power in, because then we can start ousting all of these incumbents, increase our representation, and actually start changing the system within. Because the rules are broken, they're rigged, they're meant to suppress us and make us serve. And I really appreciate your time. And Trevor, thank you very much for hosting us, and thank you for allowing me to speak. I appreciate it. Mr. Turner, thank you for your service. Thank you for what you do.